Get that one ready to go that I can set it up on the tripod or on the thing. Well, we should let you in. We did let you in. Yeah, you have the link to get in a meeting, right, Dusty? Yeah, it says waiting for you. Um, I'm in. Pat is in. Please enter your name. Jessica's here. Bring it back to me. Can Dusty I just came in. Dial in. No. There Call is you. Jessica. Hi, Jessica. Hang on. Hi. We're trying something new today, so bear with us. No worries. I'm here too. Hi, Dusty. How do I see things? You're gonna first. You're gonna have to close the door because we're getting feedback from you. Uh. Always the pressure. Four minutes, six minutes, five minutes. I got problems. You guys do fine. Can anybody see me? Uh, no. no, you have to turn your camera on. Okay. There's a button on. There you go. I uh, see you. I found it. And not, how do I spin the camera around? Uh, scroll up on your screen and there's a thing on the bottom that says camera settings or it's not visible easily directly from your phone until you know where it's at. So let's see, let me go here. Zoom, 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 zoom. Okay. Did you find Did it, you Dusty? Find it, Aha. There you go. So Dusty's on. Stephanie, do you why are you doing your phone? Um well you can, but you're gonna have to make sure the audio is muted. I'm trying to find the link on my phone. I emailed it to myself. Apparently, I'm not important enough to be in this meeting. Okay, so here's this. I've never joined from my phone, so let's see. Hello? Yes, Dusty? I'm just trying to get the picture bigger, that's all. Hey, Stephanie, how do you uh, join from your phone? Okay, click on the link. Well, I, the, the problem is it's not a link. Oh. See, I did it wrong. Here, join, join. Yeah, it says join Zoom meeting. It's got a link, but oh. it's not a hyperlink. I can't just click on it. Want to you, uh, let me try something else. One day I'll learn how to master this stuff. Or at least not look like a total idiot. Join. Median ID. I think I'm going to be in the screen pretty good the whole time right there. As you can see, I'm tired of doing stockings, so I'm doing a witch's shoe. Appropriate for Halloween. Yeah. 
Can you put stuff in it? Hey, look at that. It's me. Oh, come on. You're married to me. Do, 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 do. Host is me. Where am I down here? Hey, me. What? Me is married to you. She's in here. I said I must be married to me. See, you're already caught up, up to where you were. No, not the stitching part. Obviously, a lot of effort on my part that I'm not willing to put in. <laughs> I think this is going to be a really cute one. Well, we're supposed to start here in a minute, and I can't figure out how to make my phone work. Well, well we're hearing you and everything. No, that's on my computer. I'm doing my, I'm going to bring my computer in so um, I can see when people join, but I didn't do the waiting room thing. Oh, Dave. yeah, I know. Dave. Hello, Dave. Can you hear me? I can hear you. Um, to get your phone to work, you need to have the Zoom app on your phone, and the best way to do it is to copy the link, or not the link, the, um, the ID, go to the app, put the ID in, paste it in, and then type in the password. You can't use a hyperlink to get into the app. I've done that once and it joined a meeting, and then I was trying to find how to reverse the camera. And, uh, <laughs> screwed it up. Yeah, it says back to meeting. So I'm in the meeting. I'm Everybody's so used to us having things messed up. They don't know any different. So let me find out how to do the reverse the camera. I'm doing video now. Hello. Hi, how you doing? Hello. Does anybody know how to reverse the camera on a phone? No. Find the phone. And the Android. I don't have an Android. But... <laughs> I've been telling him for six months he needs to get an iPhone, but yeah, he iPhone listens sucks. as well as my wife does. Mm -hmm. iPhone sucks. I use an iPad. iPads are cool. iPhone sucks. Yeah, but an iPhone is exactly like an iPad. I use both, yeah, just smaller. Hey, hey what I think Dave the, sucks. I think, Dusty. What thing? He has it. The camera holder. Dave <laughs> must be holding his camera. Yeah, you have to put it in a dingle. <laughs> I got stand. Do this for two hours. No, a um thingy. Yeah, I got a gimbal. 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 I got a, the gimbals aren't charged, and I would have to stand here for two hours. Where's yeah. your little thing? Right here. here. Put this in here for now. I have this one on this one. Well, I understand. But he's filming. <laughs> <laughs> so this is our funniest week, huh? If people knew just how bad we were. They do, sweetheart. There's no. Um, you guys have to be unbelievably balloons. tolerant people. We have or, no life. We have no lives lives out of here. Oh, I don't anyway. Now we're Ooh, your fun. runner turned down. Well, I'm gonna fix it. Calm down. Calm down, Dave. And this is our twentieth week. <laughs> what are you looking for? Well, well, I think it's. I'll figure out something different. Don't worry about it. I think it's Dave. <laughs> but I don't think the gimbals are charged, so I'm just gonna have to stand there with a. We'll plug one in for a little bit. The meeting's already started. Yeah, but it's two hours long. Got plenty of time. Hi, Bernice. Hey, did Bernice get in okay? Sandra. Everybody's in. We don't have a waiting room. Oh, that is what I mean. Some people said they didn't get the link. Oh. 
Mine, went, mine, my link went to junk mail. That's the first time any of your stuff has ever gone to junk. It go, it, when I email myself, it always goes to junk. Huh. Yep. Me too. Maybe I'm trying to tell myself something. I don't know how to email. <laughs> so I tell everybody, check your spam because that's probably where I'm at. Mm -hmm. I second fire it, but you have two Iris? Was it Iris? Maybe. Hi, Iris. Are you going to be home? Yeah. Ooh, that's the sunglasses, huh? They can rename their device or I can rename it. Uh, how is it later? Okay. Can you name on your device? It's right here. Oh, no. no. This is all in Chinese. <laughs> That's Dave's ginormous mess. We're going back to the caveman page. Back to the caveman page. Dave, this thing is. <laughs> well, you broke it. No. You Step smashed. on buck your nest. Step well, while they're playing with their camera, I'll go ahead and explain mine. Um, I have just a white piece of fabric as my backing, which would be on the inside of the stocking. Sorry. I've got three layers of black Hobbs 80-20 batting. Then I have a piece of white just to help hold all the stitching because I'm going to stitch it to death. Okay. The witch's shoe is made out of a piece of purple um, fleece or flannel, I guess. And then G had her organza come in. So I laid a piece of organza purple over top of the purple shoe. And I'm using YLI 60 weight um, purple variegated thread. So I'm going to get started. And then if you guys have any questions, let me know or let Dave know. And um, I'll try to answer as I go. Okay. So I'll be starting. Okay. Okay. So for the rest of us who are not using on, I hope everybody's got the pattern, right? Yep. Not yes. so just... so if you don't have the gray, it's fine. If you need to decide what size pattern, which size stocking you want to make, um, go ahead and cut two um, stocking pieces out of your muslin or whatever. If you're gonna, if you're going to trim piece, if you're going to embroider like she is, then you're gonna to want to cut whatever fabric you want on the outside of your stocking. You're going to want to cut two pieces of the stocking size that you want. Also, I cut mine all at the same time, so I cut two pieces of the stocking size as so that we're not picking up his sounds and Stephanie will be the main speaker, please. Yeah, hold on one second. I didn't realize I would grounded everybody out. No, it was David, not Dusty. It's Dave's mic, not Dusty's. Yes. Yeah. There it is. Okay. So Dave, do you want me to come through and voice this on yours or on my phone? Or on your phone? On my phone. Okay. So I'm gonna I'm gonna close my sound and my video. Okay. Is everybody hearing me now on Dave's um, yep. phone? It's yep. showing no Pictures. No video. On my phone? No. This you can, 
Yes. Because my, my computer, my computer is no, no computer. No if you, if Stephanie's going to be the main okay, speaker, you can make, you, you can pick. <laughs> okay. You can pin S Stephanie's video and it'll make her the main one, like big on your screen. So if you, anybody, anybody. I can't hear you, Susan. Okay. I, this is, maybe. Okay, this, okay. Um, this is more for everybody anyway. If, if. Yeah, you pin the speaker. Right. Hi, Carol. Hello. I'm hearing you, Steph. Okay, Stephanie, can you hear them? Hello, anyone? Hello, hello, hello. Speak, Stephanie, speak. Hello. Speak, Stephanie, speak. Ow, ow. <laughs> can anybody hear Stephanie? Yeah. No. Well, here's I'm part of the problem. Dusty, it's the same problem Dusty has with that machine running. Uh -huh. Your machine takes over the audio, which should still be the audio on here. Right. Huh. Yeah. Uh, so, can everybody hear me speaking now on Dave's phone? <laughs> yes. This is app. Yes. We all need to mute ours unless we want to talk. Right. But you can hear Stephanie, right? Yes, I can hear her and okay. see him. Can you see me? On yes. Dave's phone. Yes. Dave, you ass. <sighs> Anyhow, okay, so we're gonna cut whatever size of stocking you wanna make. You're gonna cut two pieces. So lay your fabrics right sides together and you're gonna cut whatever your outside fabric's gonna be. So because I'm string piecing mine, you can just cut muslin or whatever. If you are not string piecing and you are um, going to embroider on yours or, you know, do something different, then you're going to want to cut whatever you want your outside fabric to be. Um, two, two, two stocking pieces, whatever size you want, um, right sides together so that you'll get, you know, your outside stockings. And when you cut them, leave yourself a seam allowance if you want your stocking to be the size of the template because you're going to need a seam allowance to sew it together. Right. So yeah. like for me, string piecing, I don't have to worry about the seam allowance, but because G is embroidering on hers, she has to make sure she leaves a quarter inch seam allowance. So when she sews it together, I'm not sewing over my embroidery. she's not sewing over her embroidery design. Okay. So I went ahead and I cut two pieces of my outside fabric. Now I'm going to quilt as you go. So I've also cut um, my batting as well. All right. Now my, this is the largest stocking. So I've measured down from the top of the stocking. At this, on your pattern, you'll see it'll say um, one will say two inches, one will say um, two and a half inches, and one will say three inches. So three inches from the top of your stocking down and mark a line, just because that's where your cuff is going to go. So there's no use in string piecing all of that, you know, clear up past there and everything. It's going to be hidden, right? So there's no point in, in doing that. Now, I also took, because I'm going to string piece the back side of mine, you don't have to. Um, but I am, you're going to want to draw a 45 degree angle 
on there. So because I use um, this, I, I use a straight line. So I just, when I used, took my uh, ruler, I just laid the 45 degree line on my ruler up with the um, line that I measured down for the cuff. And then you can just throw a 45 degree line in there anywhere because you just need one just so you have something to work with. Okay? If anybody has any questions as I'm going to call her. Um, now, I've also um, taken all these I wonder what I would look like with a helmet. Yeah, I wonder too. <laughs> Somebody asking a question. Or somebody's mic on this. I'm asking a question. I need two pieces of the buzz line and then also the and uh, the batting for the pump. I only need one piece of buzz line. Excuse me. Where are you going? Oh my gosh, you're getting so big. Good grief. Yeah, so who's ever big to pick up? Who's ever too big to pick up? <laughs> Mute your microphone, please. Somebody who has kids in the background. Well, um, yeah, if you will, we can. Okay. Anyway, so, so two pieces of muslin for one for the front, one for the back. Remind them I have tremors. So if you're jumping up and down, <laughs> <laughs> she yeah. has tremors and she's my camera guy. <laughs> <laughs> So I'm I'm a little jittery today. <laughs> 45 degree line. Okay, you're doing that. Steph, you're muted right now. Okay, no, I did it already. Go ahead. Stop. Okay, so now you can hear me. Can everybody hear her? Yes. Yeah. Okay, okay, great. All right. So we should have now a front for your stocking, a back for your stocking, two pieces of batting, stocking shape. And then I just need. Then you need um you can cut your line now or you can wait till later. so it's up to you. It was Jen Panto. Oh okay. her grandson showed up unexpectedly. So oh, okay. anyway, so now I've drawn the 45 degree line on my stocking. So now I've cut all these somebody else is stuff in. I've got all these little strips you know, different width, different lengths, whatever, scraps, right? So these are all Christmassy ones. So what I'm gonna do first is I'm gonna, I'm gonna take one of my scraps and I'm gonna lay it so that it is right side down and lined up with the edge of that 45 degree mark that I made, okay? So now, let me move this one. That nah, out of the way. Oops. So now we're going to go ahead and we're going to stitch this quarter inch seam allowance. And so, because my batting's already under there, so I'm quilting as I go, right? So you can come back and quilt and you put some decorative stitches in there if you want to. Um, you know, whatever. Oh. <laughs> Fiddle. Dave, are you ready to take over again? Hey, okay. Steph, what type of batting are you using? This is just an 80-20, Hobbs 80-20. Um, so, you know, 80% cotton, 20% um, 
poly. And you could use a fusible bat if you wanted to. It's small enough. I don't notice that I get a lot of slide. Um, so, you know, it's your prerogative. You could even use some, um, what the heck? One of my foot came off a little while ago. So I'm wondering if I don't have thread stuck underneath my foot. When you said your foot came off, I not the went a different direction. <laughs> not my real foot. All right. Anyways, my Dusty has a cousin who makes ornament or er, stockings every year at Christmas. And she does like the whole family. So, you know, mom, dad, and, you know, however many kids. But she does them all like in the same fabrics and the same whatever. So they make really great gifts and she sells them. And that's what she uses to do all of her Christmas shopping. Is done by making stockings. Is everybody hearing me? Yes. Okay, good. And the camera work should get a lot better. I was fiddling around putting it on a camera thing. <laughs> <laughs> He's got some kind of stand that he has it on. Yeah, I didn't know I was supposed to be filming today. So at 10 minutes two, I found out. And uh, <laughs> the thing that we normally put our camera on, uh, Dusty had hijacked and taken to the other room because he needed it. So hopefully- We might have to make another one. It's gonna have to have a smaller face. Anyway, so now I, once you stitch your first piece down, then you're gonna flip it. And then I finger press everything. So just if you're not a finger presser, that's okay. We have an iron here. But yeah, we have an iron. Gosh. This is like a hot mess is what this is. So, but you're gonna wanna press that down or finger press it or whatnot. So now this strip here was an inch um, and a quarter wide. So now you can go ahead and add your next one, but you're gonna do this all the way across. So any of this extra here at the end, <laughs> the camera works trying to get much better. <laughs> Yeah, hit the whole thing. I don't want it. Oh, okay. Anyway, so now I'm going to go ahead and take this uh, pretty red here with the stars. And all you want to make sure you're doing, and I just keep going, you know. Now, this part that's hanging up up here above, I'll trim this off before I add my cuff fabric. Okay. So you're gonna go ahead and you're gonna piece this all the way across your whole stocking. This is my boys' favorite part of Hall or Halloween. <laughs> Christmas. Fabric's yeah. crunching up in there if they can't see. It's not laying flat. Yeah. There you go. That's because I'm super magical, Dave. You've All blown right. enough things up for me to believe you. I've blown up enough things? Yeah. Huh. Your house is cursed. It is. That's true. You didn't happen to pick up my apple cases, did you? They were over here. Oh, thanks. Hey, you're welcome. <laughs> All right, so now I'm gonna finger press this next piece. If you guys have questions as we go, just yell. Yeah, and recognize that if you ask a question on the chat function, we're not reading the chat function. <laughs> so it's not that we're ignoring you, it's just that we're ignoring you. <laughs> We don't see you. Well, it's because we've got too many 
things going on. Th yeah. Three devices. Too much still. I don't know whoever came up with this idea of three people doing three things at the same time. Just dusty. It was all dusty. <laughs> and you listened to him? It sounded like a good it idea. It did sound time. like a good idea. But we didn't keep into account the fact that we're really bad at that technical stuff. He wanted he wants to wait till after the first snow to start his meeting or start his, his online stuff, teaching whatever he's going to be doing, demonstrating. Yeah, that's like, true. Because he can't hunt then. Yeah, he wants to make sure hunting season's over. <laughs> Everyone is being so quiet. Well, they have to be. We muted them all. They're being good. Oh, Dave. What? Well, he had to. We were Everybody's got. Feedback. Everybody has to do their part in order to make this Zoom work. All right. So when people go, do you do do you Zoom Zoom Zoom? Not very fast. <laughs> we're pretty slow around here. Gee, what does yours look like? Um, I'm doing an applique, and I'm getting ready to cut out there are these ornaments that have these reindeer hanging off oh, wait. oh shoot hold on Hang Davis on. had a technical issue um he'll be back with me in just a second but anyway um what the I heck? What I'm, doing. <laughs> I'm it's got these little ornaments and these reindeer uh, are kind of balancing on them I'm going to get to one of the reindeer soon all you're going to see is this one ornament right now because I just did an applique I'm getting ready to cut it out. I think it's going to be adorable. This was the best hundred dollars I spent. <laughs> what that thing on this that thingy you got? that doesn't work? Oh, okay. Now I'm going to get ready to cut mine, and he can come to back, back to me in a few seconds, and you'll see what I've got so far. So he can go back to Steph for a second. She's directing Dave. Well, <laughs> well, somebody has to. Well, you know, I mean, this this is some fun watching me cut this. Yeah, app, okay. Fun. Unless somebody doesn't know how to do it, you get a pair of duck filled scissors so that you don't cut the fabric underneath. And then you just slide that bill underneath and cut really close to your stitching. And then when I put it back in, the um, satin stitch will cover my raw edge. So, okay. So, this now I've got these pieces. So, I'm going to finish going all the way. I used to say that in high school. Oh, crap. <laughs> you should say that in high school too. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> Anyways, so you know how it is. What happened? Nothing. <laughs> Nothing. We're not going to talk about it. Okay. We're just going to pretend it didn't happen. Okay. And if I don't tell anyone, no one will notice. Well, that's, you know, that brings up a good point. We're all very critical of our own work, we're overly critical. And we have a tendency to when people compliment us, we tell them it's wrong. We tell them everything is wrong. And there's no reason to do that. Uh, this is an art. Art is not perfect. It's, you know, it's even messy sometimes. <laughs> sometimes? <laughs> with us all the time. Art is always very messy with us. But, um, you know, you, you can ask Dusty. He complains every week when we're trying to get ready for the Steph and G show. He's got to clean the room. That everything is a big mess in here. <laughs> you almost. <laughs> oh, well, it's true. Okay, Dave, if you'll bring the camera back for a second. <laughs> it's easier said than done. Oh, okay, maybe Dave won't be coming back. But I wanted to show you my two ornaments before. Um... Isn't it charging up, Dave? Yeah, but the problem is, and now I just put my hand in front of the <laughs> camera. The problem is it's not designed to do what I'm trying to do. And so the motors are overheating oh. and it freaks out. It goes into air state. So I, what are you see, doing? I can't see up there, so I don't know. But um, the ornaments, I want them to see that these are two ornaments. And right up here is going to be some reindeer hanging off of them. So they're going to be adorable in my estimation. <laughs> These are designs from John Deere. Oh, um, you can't lay it on here because okay. it stretches the fabric. The, um, I wanted to tell you on our front page of our website, we just posted the link to John Deere's Christmas party. And this is a great deal. I think it's 15, it's 15 something, 1595. You get 40 designs, downloads, 
you get three in the hoop projects and you get to come to the party and they're going to have drawings and contests and all kinds of fun things. Now, the, the 40 designs do an ugly sweater uh, motif that he has a contest going on and you can use these designs to join the contest. So there's a link that'll take you to the invitation. And if you want to join, you can. I think I'm going to do it because it sounds like a lot of fun. And I've always wanted to do an ugly sweater. So um, go to our front page and then scroll down. You'll see a picture of John. And right next to him, there's a link. So you know what's really funny? What? We keep, now listen, we've scheduled parties. John Deere scheduled parties. Yeah. All as well. But when you go to a party, what's, what do you go to the party for? Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> exactly but then now this party you know i mean he may be giving our party we are going to be giving away a lot of chocolate yes we yes. will be giving away chocolate so you know there will be food at our party and we'll have recipes that you can do your own you know we G should send yes what fabric are you embroidering on it looks like it's got a design on it it is, uh, it's actually drapery fabric. And I use it for my nutcrackers and I use it for my stockings because it's got a beautiful back pattern. It's um, thicker and it takes the embroidery better. You don't get puckering and it makes it, the stocking holds up really, really well. So it's, uh, you know, this is a, a tone on tone pattern. In the, okay, thanks. When, I, when Joanne has it on sale for 50% off, I buy, you know. For more, sometimes you can even get it better. So. Okay. Yeah. What are you doing now? Is anybody really sewing with us? A lot of Bernice and, and Mary Lynn. Mary Lynn, are you here? I'm sewing. I'm sewing. I, I had my stuff already cut out, and I'm sewing now. Here. But, but Mary Lynn had problems getting her link. And it might have yep, been I'm here. Mary Lynn's here. I got it to you in time. She um, really is sending out the link. So make sure you check your spam folder because she she's a trashy kind of gal. Well, and the other thing is, is that every... Yeah, we can't hear you anymore. Steph and G, we have no audio of you, just video. I can hear you fine on my computer, but I got to move my computer. I don't know if that's going to help me, but. Well, his phone is on there, so it will. Just cut your phone to turn that on. Okay. We can hear you now. We're, we're on Dusty's phone now. Well, Dave is on Dusty's phone right now. <laughs> No, I'll just quote what I'm doing and come in here and film you.
Dusty, your phone's muted, so we actually don't hear anything still. Can you hear me now? Yes. Yeah. Good. They said yes. Yep, they, they said, said yes. yes. All right, great. Thank you, sir. Oh, Dave. Yeah, okay. Dave's, Dave's leaving, he says. There will never be a dusty show. There will be a dusty mm -hmm. show. Yeah. You just won't be the cameraman. Like well, him, guess who's going to be the cameraman? Me. Maybe Bryce. <laughs> Me. Maybe oh. Stephanie, there you go. You gotta bring the young, young. Okay. I'm gonna cut this off so you guys can show. Oh yes. Oh Jeff's table. Jeff, are you here? Um, the table runner is done. So Dusty is cutting it off right now, so we can show it to you. We know if Dusty, if Jeff's here. I don't know if Jeff's here or not. If he is here. I saw a really pretty one hanging in somebody's sewing room. Oh, someone has one hanging in their sewing uh -huh. room? You <laughs> Mine is waiting is to be already quilted. Mine's not. Mine's just hanging on my waiting to be quilted thing that you can see behind me. Yeah, the one I probably saw. My waiting to be quilted thing. I like that. You can put it in my waiting to be cool to pile. Mine's probably smaller than yours. Yeah, Dusty says put it in his waiting to be quilted pile. I'm gonna be talking That's to him about nice. I'm gonna talk to him about another one. <laughs> well, most people want to do their own runners because, well, quite frankly, they're not that hard. Well, hence buying our tools to do little projects. I know. That's right. Yes. Oh, there we go. I've had to unsew twice, guys. You know, some days you have like that. I don't like that. Well, I wouldn't either. But... Okay, so let's see. But I'm losing metallic and never had a break. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> It doesn't have any uh, non-metallic thread. thread. Yeah. When I sew with non-metallic thread, I'm stealing stuffs. Um, no, I have all the, all the sulky rayon ones on the little petite things. But this is the lazy man's way of doing it. <laughs> lazy man's way of doing what? The stocking. Oh. Well... It is a lot of work, though. I mean, applique in the hoop is, uh, you know. But I want it to be shiny, shiny. She likes shiny. I do. I like shiny things. She's a crow. You were going to have a shiny witch's foot to give away. Yeah, I can't wait to see that. I think that's going to be beautiful. I couldn't wait either. Is it done? Cattle boating, done. Oh, <laughs> my camera's in here, and so am I. You goofy thing. That's true. He did come rescue us. Yes, he did. We appreciate it. But is anybody else on? And he made lasagna already. And quilted Jeff's runner. He's, he's had a busy day. He's just Johnny on the spot, isn't he? Somebody's got to be. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> D and I know we sell. It. We're not the typical housewife. I used to be. You used to have a housewife. He used to work. Now I, I don't mean, work. Real, a yeah, real job. Work. You're right. Fact, no, you were a slave to the man. <laughs> You're so funny. <laughs> it's our story, hon. That's right. We can tell everybody that. <laughs> it's true. We can. I hope everybody still hears us. Are you yeah, here's, here's the front of my stocking. 
Ooh. And he did it on my embroidery machine. Ooh. Ooh. That's very nice. I'd have me some colored pencils out. Yeah, that's pretty. I'd have crystals. Oh, it's, it's, as close, it's as close as I could come to Dusty's. Wow. It's pretty darn good. One, soon you'll have digital Dusty. Oh, Coming digital soon. Dusty. My spare time. Yeah, and some crystals I think would help on the front of this too. Hmm, have to look at that. Yeah, I really like that one. Oh. And that's perfect because none of my stuff is perfect. How did you do that? It can't, if it's perfect, it's not, I don't know. You need hey, a little, geez, she's got the same uh, rotary, rotary as you. Yeah. Don't you love that left hand, right hand rotary cutter? Oh, yeah. Bernice? So, yeah. Um, Karen. Yes. I, Sir, Shirley, I don't know if Shirley's here, but she's ambidextrous and she can cut both left handed and right handed. And yeah. uh, I can do that too. <laughs> I can't hear. But um, I did it on my embroidery machine, and it was a one of the center design was built in. Uh huh. Um, and then my machine has an, allows you to do background fills, and it has like I don't know 20, 30 different background fills, and you can just uh -huh. select them, and you can then fill the whole hoop um, oh, with the background cool. fills and it will go around the um, the design. It won't go wow. around the design. What, and, what, so it'll uh, stipple around the design. Yeah, except this is a, a leaves and, and things. They have, there's lots of choices. You can do stipples, you can do echoes, you can do all different kinds of designs. And on the back, on the back one, I'll probably do uh, maybe just cross hatch Mm -hmm. for the back uh -huh. and then um what i'm going to do for the cuff is i'm going to use some of uh john deere's uh freestanding lace and stitch that out and then put that for the cuff oh that'll Ooh. be pretty so it's going to be kind of a victorian look yeah i guess um yeah. you know i and then i'll probably put some crystals there's little circles right here oh yeah and some others and i'll probably put some crystals in there what Very kind of nice. machine do you have? I have a brother luminaire. Okay. The two, um, and it it does. I bought it because of all the incredible things you can do for quilting. Because mm -hmm. I really want to quilt my own quilts, mm -hmm. and so the, I'm using all these things as kind of you know practice. <laughs> well, well, that's yeah. like gorgeous. gorgeous. Thank you. And there are no, a lot they, of people that are using their embroidery machines now to do their quilting. And it's my understanding now, y'all know Jean's the embroiderer, I am not. But she said that there's like these newfangled doodads that you can basically an endless Thing. Like you can do like a whole thing without like rehooping a bazillion times, right? You can actually yeah. like Bernice's machine. You can actually design right on the machine, and you don't have to rehoop. Older machines you do because right. you don't, and smaller you they have smaller hoops, right. so you can only get so many designs in. But um, the, other, the, the other thing is they have these. They call them all over designs, and and you do have to rehoop, but it looks just like you've used a panograph. On a on a long arm machine, long arm. yes, and um, you know, and then uh, Steph's idea about how you can do your um, batting and not have to have all the batting in there would work perfect with the all over designs because you go down one and then you know you go right or left depending on it. And I'd put my it machine all in has patches. Perfect. Yeah, well, you can do it <laughs> patches, and even good design does that. Yeah, you I'd, line them up. Yeah, I I I put all the batting in patches as. A, went through the embroidery machine. I wouldn't yeah. put one, you know, I wouldn't put a big piece in at all. Mm. You wouldn't have to, I mean if you're gonna you wouldn't have to fight all the way to that batting. Right. Yeah. But I mean and as long as you if have you're spending button, that kind of money on a machine, I mean these suckers are yes. oh yeah. I mean I have to justify it. Yeah. You know it, it better I trade somebody a long run for a car right now. Floor. All of those 
can reach my gear again so they can see how it's going to look. I see here is pretty good. Yeah, I bring this okay. along. Hey. Boy, is that old Christmas fabric. My mother's had that around 100 years. <laughs> Holy mackerel. That's why you should save every little scrap. Oh. <laughs> mm -hmm. Listen, it still costs you $13 a yard, whether it's this big or this big. That's right. Yep. It keeps going up. It's terrible. Oh, it's terrible. It is terrible. Things. Now nobody's watching things. I don't know how, it would drive me crazy sitting there watching that. I wouldn't normally be watching this. I I'd would be working on my computer at the same it time. It would drive me to drink. Oh wait, <laughs> Stephanie's already done that. <laughs> you don't have far to go. <laughs> it's a short drive. Actually, I find when I use the embroidery machine that I'm mesmerized by watching it. Well, it's like a, a squirrel and, and an acorn falls in the woods. They go crazy looking for it. But, yeah. Wow. Well, you know. Ooh, I found something. Look at that. One day soon, I'm going to pull my embroidery machine out and I'm going to put this one away and hope I can find the thread cutter. You're going to pull that machine out and open it up and it ain't going to work and then it's a loss. Well, she can use the machine for embroidery and because it's an SE, isn't it? Right. That's a good machine. And there's a lot of stuff you can do on the screen. What are you what? pulling out? Uh, uh, 11,000 SE? Uh, the Husqvarna SE. Oh, okay. Designer SE. Embroidery combination embroidery sewing machine. Yeah, that's what I have a Janome 11,000 upgraded to the SE. So it's a combination. Yeah. I got it from Johanna. She upgraded to the new baby lock at the time. And I bought her machine because I wanted to get into embroidery. And I figured, well, I knew her so well. And I knew she took care of it. And it came with uh, free uh, tutorials for the rest of our lives. So I couldn't <laughs> it up. So, Johanna down in Pittsburgh, Johanna? Johanna is in uh, West Virginia. Oh, okay. it's, it's my friend, Johanna. It's not the... So Johanna has an Aless Alissimo, right? Uh, Johanna has a Destiny, a Baby Lock Destiny. Okay. Nice, nice machine. Oh, yes. Yes. I got the best machine on the planet. The A1? Yeah. Yeah, but that's a... It's a sewing machine. I can sew on it. You I know, can do people it. can sew on it. You can't. Oh, yes, I can. <laughs> you told me I, you don't know how to sew. I strip piece on my long arm. Oh, okay. Before. I blanket stitch. So that it. excuse is no good anymore if you're going to tell me I but can it sew, is hard. but I can't. <laughs> Not on a real sewing machine. Yeah, I've never pieced on a real sewing machine. I've pieced on my long run. There's something wrong about that. <laughs> oh. So she's piecing away here on her, or she's quilting as you go on her stocking. Decker just stitches look real pretty on that. It yeah, yeah they would. They would. I want her to do it metallic thread. I can't. I've got my thread director. That's right. Without a thread director, no way, no how. Makes me cuss to them. I haven't tried metallic yet. I want to. Oh, uh, it's without the thread director, it yeah. is the biggest. I have, yeah, I have a thread director. So pain in the patootie. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't I wouldn't do it. But with the thread director, I can manage. How about a bobbin? Is that Dusty fetch me a bobbin? Please. You're going to owe me big time. I know. I'm indebted to you. That, that, that uh, list keeps getting longer and longer. 
Oh shoot, what are we doing now? Thank Here. you. White. White is hard to come by. <laughs> I have big cones of it. Do you want one? No, I just need it. I need a small cone. I could use a big cone. I have oh, one over you. there somewhere sitting, I thought, on top of my caddy. No, that's cream. There's white in here. Uh, I think of going on. Here's a white. A white. Okay. Okay. Um, that was a lot of work. I know. It's too much to lean over to pick up so, something I dropped. One day after the Steph and G show, I had it all cleaned up in here and looking good. And then pretty soon, G comes in. And she trashes it. And she clutters it up. <laughs> she opens the doors and pulls stuff out. Well, that you hid before the show. Just going back to the status quo. You want to show them Jeff's Renner day? I can, yeah. So Jeff, um, and I can't pronounce his last name, um, sent Dusty a runner to quilt from the runner contest. Mm -hmm. It is so, it came out so nice. Lay it down what? over the front and I can get it up close. Oh. Really nice, Dusty. Jeff, are you here? That's so beautiful. I love his background. Colors. I love his background fabric too. I did too. Oh my gosh. I like the colors. It's very cheery. Yes. Yeah, Jeff's not with us today. I probably would have never picked those out for myself ever. Oh, but you yeah, know, kind of guys, as a rule of thumb. Their color choices and stuff are, they just think so much different. I can't believe, to, we'd have ladies come in the quilt shop and they'd have a pattern and they hand me the pattern and say, go find all the fabric and they'd go sit and talk with Steph. All the time, they wouldn't look for any of their own. Maybe they weren't happy with their decisions. I, I used to play, play build quilt all the time in the quilt shop. That's what we called it, build it though. Like a build a bear. Yeah. Well, we we used to have fat quarters and stuff, like pre cut and stuff. Uh -huh. And we'd have a group of ladies come in and they'd pick up a whole bunch of things, and then they'd have buyer's remorse and set it all down. So they mm -hmm. went through all the motions of loving the fabric and touching the fabric and smelling the fabric and just not it all buying out. the fabric. And then they set it all down in one great big stack and they'd they say, "Can we leave this here for a little while?" And we'd be like, "Well, how long's a little while? A few days, so we can think about it." <laughs> <laughs> so when they started doing that and a lot of them started doing it I would put a little TP tent and write on it this is so and so's if you want some of it bring it to me I'll cut you some off and then you have to put it back yeah, yeah. oh yeah oh these are bolts that they would bring oh to they you. bring bolts oh okay I thought it was back just bags quarters. Back quarters, whatever bags of scraps and you know we had 5,000 we had a 5,000 bolt quilt shop we had a lot of stuff Mm. We had over a hundred kits at one time. Hundred different kits. We were busy folk. I'm glad we don't have a quilt shop no more. Yeah, they and were too busy. busy folk. <laughs> we were very busy. We're still busy. I know. That's what I'm saying. You're not busy now. <laughs> In a different way. Yeah, a different kind of busy. I used to live at the long run. I was doing 500 quilts a year on one machine. Wow. All hand driven. All hand driven. They were, I get quilts from all over the world. Now I've gotten old and slow. <laughs> <laughs> you know, the arthritis sets in. It's just he does. I, I, I like custom work now. I don't want to. I mean, I don't mind doing edge to edge stuff, but it's more fun to do custom. It keeps me occupied. I don't get bored. Because all the edge to edge stuff that I do now, so repetition. I can do it with my eyes closed. Mm -hmm. 
Well, maybe. Don't you get tired of that, though? Because, I mean, I know it, it pays the bills and so forth, but as an artist, I, I don't know. I, I seem to like to do different things. If I have to do the same thing over and over and over again. Right. As an artist, it, 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 would, it used to drive me crazy. But now that I'm only quilting, you know, four or five things a week, yeah. you know, it's still paying the bills. I'm getting to be an artist. Right. And, you know, it's nice having a small table runner in that I can do in an hour and do whatever I want. And nobody cares. And there's no pressure. And, mm -hmm. you know. This isn't going to be entered into a Right. It's not, it's not going to Paducah. It's not being entered at road, you know. Right. So it doesn't have to be near so meticulous. It doesn't have mm -hmm. to all be perfect. And that's a horrible four-letter word, but. Yeah. I don't want to sit for somebody now and work a hundred hours into a quilt that, you know, that's a lot of, that's a lot of my time. How's it going, Steph? It's going. You're going to finish yours. Mine isn't going to finish. I'm going to have this side finish. I've got one more little piece to put on, then I'm going to trim it and I'll put the cuff fabric on and then I'll do the back. Now, like I said, you can choose to leave your back plain and not piece it if you don't want to. You can put toes and, toes and heels on your stocking if you want to. Um, you can make it out of a monkey. Oh, remember those sock monkeys? Wouldn't yeah, it be cute scary. to have a... <laughs> yeah, they're scary as hell. Sock monkey Christmas stocking. Remember when Moda came out with that sock monkey fabric? Yeah, it was ugly. I made pillowcases out of it. <laughs> so many people bought that fabric. Oh my gosh. Dusty quilted more sock monkey quilts than... I started refusing sock monkey quilts. Why? They're cute Because kids. they're awful little creatures. <laughs> they, come up, they come alive at night and attack you when you're sleeping. Yeah, no. Well, you know, I don't think I'd want to be in your house. I don't like them. Yeah, he didn't, he didn't, he was over the sock monkey business. Just like I hate pink. Pink is my least favorite color. There in the we go. World. So there's that. So it's all strip pieced. Now I need my. Do you little want scissors? Do you want? Yeah. Do you have a pair of purple handled scissors? Purple handled scissors. I have the big ones right here. Batting scissors? Yeah. Here you go. Oh, he has a pair too. Okay. okay. Batting yeah. scissors. If you've never seen these babies before. Hold on. Let me get a picture of them. Put them down. Oh, my stuff. goodness. They can't. Yeah, they can't see them. They're magnificent. If you've never used a pair of batting on the camera, it's blending in with the fabric. Oh, put yeah. it on the way here. Take yes. this away and put it right here. Those are the scariest looking things I've ever seen. They're wonderful. They're wonderful. So because of the way they are, you know, you've got this big thing here. So you can lay it down flat on your um, table or whatever. And so when you're cutting batting, you just right along the edge and they're wonderful and you can really open them up it's not like when you're using those stinking regular scissors yeah oh my god no bad boys you're still not you're getting there you're getting there Right now, you want to get the handle, you might want to turn the handle towards the camera. Turn it that way. Yeah. Because that's the impressive part. Can you see the mm. engraving on that? Can't yes. you see your picture? The picture is as big as a postage stamp. So no, I don't care. There's get... a way to make it big. So you can there you go. It's those are absolutely gorgeous. All hand forged. Okay. Made by Fomori Cutlery. They've made 500 pairs of them, I believe. I bet they cost a fortune. Um, yes, yes and no. <laughs> um, 
Brent still has two gentlemen that hand forge for him. Mm -hmm. And they're, I mean, they're old school blacksmiths. And when he brought these out a couple of years back at Christmas time, um, I had to have a pair. And at that time, well, I was teaching and making crazy money. So why not have the best pair of right. hand forged scissors? And I, yeah, they were expensive, but they're mine. Right. And well, they use them. They're and... shaving sharp. Mm -hmm. and, oh, he doesn't use them. And I have pair number 11. So no. Oh, wow. Know. He's a collector. Do you, do you let Steph cut hair with him? <laughs> <laughs> Dave and I are desperate need of haircuts. It's haircut I haven't days. had mine cut since February. <laughs> I just keep letting it grow. Um, my, my beautician is so busy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> watching Dr. Phil that I had to cut my own. Hey, she has to keep up with everybody else's issues, you know? It makes you feel better. You realize yours aren't so bad. That's right. true. It really does. She, I'm glad she watches it. That way, at the end of the day, I can say, she, she can say, oh, my husband's really not all that bad. There's so many out there that are so much worse. Oh, yeah. I think it's amazing that the four of you guys living so closely and working so tightly together still get along. <laughs> of course, I don't know what it's like off camera. <laughs> we don't fight. We don't fight at all. No, we don't. Nothing. Mm -mm. No, we get along pretty good. We have, and I mean, you know, we, we as a rule of thumb don't generally talk politics really per mm -hmm. se, but we don't talk if, religion, we don't talk sexual orientation, we don't talk, but even if we do uh, come across, you know, and, and say something about, oh, I saw this, or, or, a, mm -hmm. or heard this, Dave, is yeah. that your computer? It could be what? We're getting feedback. Now, no. Okay, go ahead. So anyways, so there's that. Isn't it cute? So when we do come across touchy subjects, we sit down and get along. We do because you know what? She can believe what she believes, and I can believe what I believe. Oh, yeah. We still get yeah. Along. And we can respect each other. And there's a lot of people who can't do that. Mm -hmm. and, and, and they're like minded. So they both just take it out on their husbands. <laughs> and basically, we know that we need to just accept it and deal with it to keep the peace. So we just go along to get along. Well, that's good. Hunt in there on the top, there's a, some of this white. I need a chunk for my, my cup. Oh. Yes, dear. <laughs> yes, dear. Yes, dear. Those Isn't are the magic words. That's where the man should learn. Yes, dear. Whatever you say, dear. You're That's always you're, you're always right, sweetheart. Mm -hmm. Dave, you got to turn off your microphone. Steph, what are you using for the your cuff? Out of curiosity, um, I'm using the what are these called? Swiss dots. Yeah. So it's just cotton. Yeah. Oh, I like that. So it's just a good, you know, basic thing. If you pull the white up, I can see the stocking better now. Now, if you were to put a heel on there um, or, and or a toe, where, uh -huh. where would you do that? So I would, I would applique mine on. So as soon as I got this part all pieced, then I'd take and cut out the you know the little heel and the little toe, uh, few you know with fusible. Um, I use lightweight fusible. Um, heat and bond. Thank you. Heat and bond light is what I use, um, and I'd put them on and then blanket stitch them or do a decorative stitch you know around them. 
um, if you wanted to put um, heels and toes on. All right, so now. So now we're stitching out the meat mouses. No, the mooses. The mouses, the mooses. Moose. The meese. Is that how you say mooses in plural, meese? <laughs> yeah. Well, I've got these cute little mooses that are hanging on to the, um, the uh, ornaments. I don't know if we can get a good enough picture in there, but Dusty's working his magic. Upside down. Oh, of course they're upside down. I'm not on your side of the machine. Oh, okay. Well, but you may turn your, your iPads upside down. Anyway, it's going to be really cute. When it's done, I'll show it when it's the embroidery of this one is done. I have three uh, two more going up here at the top of these cute little guys hanging on for dear life. So I think it's going to be someday when we grow up and we have a ginormous studio, uh -huh. then everything will be upside down and right side up. I'll be able to get around. You should be able to double click on your picture on there, honey. I'm really happy that I haven't lost anybody yet. So yeah, I'm maybe we don't let him screw around with it. <laughs> So now Steph is doing the cuff. I oh wait, you're yeah. not on the screen though. I mean, you are. So I'm gonna cut my cuff because I'm doing the biggest stocking. So I'm gonna cut it um, three and a half inches tall. And then I think it's really funny that Dave came in here to push the button on the phone. <laughs> and he, he had one so screw with that up. because <laughs> we do too. He's happy with it, honey. Just leave it. No, he said he wanted to. Uh... He was really happy he hadn't lost it. I heard that part. I'm listening to the entire meeting. I just have to keep my microphone. So normally, if you click on her picture, there's the three dots come up, and you click the three dots, and it says pin video, and it makes her the big one. But right now, Karen, <laughs> I the am big the big one. one. Right now, Karen Hart is hogging the screen. <laughs> Why? I didn't do anything. Why? I didn't do anything. I don't, it doesn't matter. Yeah, it doesn't, we, it's this stupid iPhone. You're the chosen <laughs> one. Oh, wow. Wonderful. Uh, did everybody get there? Um, if you're going to be doing the, I know this is totally off subject, but if you're going to be doing the uh, Christmas stock, the Christmas exchange, did you get your thingy questionnaire? And if you did, would you please fill it out? And if I sent the wrong one to somebody, I'm going to figure it out this afternoon. I just haven't had time to find out what I screwed up. So. We're working on it. We're always working on it. But check your spam folder before you write me and tell you didn't get it because I think I'm a spammy kind of girl, it turns out. <laughs> so she, listen, do any of y'all eat spam? I grew up eating spam. No, the name of it sounds gross. It, it is gross. Yes, yeah. we grew up eating spam, and that's my husband's favorite thing when I go away. He still cooks it for himself, and I just... <laughs> it's our English background. It's very much an English-British thing. Mm. Well, it's gross. It's got that gross jelly on it. That, that, that used to be my favorite part when I was little. <laughs> oh, my. my dad scrapes it off and puts it on crackers. Yeah. <laughs> And he spam almost every day. I think it's, uh, I can eat it, but yeah. it's not, it's not yeah. on the top of the list. I like it cooked, really cooked. Then, yeah. It's too salty now for us. Mm -hmm. Well, mature people. <laughs> <laughs> Anyhow, so I cut my um, cuff three and a half inches wide. And I had, you can see this is just, because I've just taken my scissors and, and went across there. And then I'll just fold this up. Now, if you wanted to embroider a name or, you know, glitter and glue a name or whatever across here, 
Now's the time. Or you could do decorative stitches off here. Sure, you could do you can do decorative stitches. You could do all kinds of, buttons on of there. fun things, um, depending on how you wanted your shocking to look. Your shocking, shocking. <laughs> your shocking, shocking. I didn't sleep. Um, G is going to do the demo tomorrow because, well, I have to go to the dentist. So, and she scheduled it at the perfect time. I didn't even schedule it. I just took the first available point they had. What are you demoing you? tomorrow? So I get to be Steph tomorrow. What are you demoing tomorrow? What do you want me to demo tomorrow? I can demo fast folds. I can demo organza and show you how to make different colors out of it by blending, or we can do fusimates. Uh, organza is my vote. Organza is my vote. Voting? If we're voting, organza is my vote. Yeah, okay, we're doing we organza. So I'll be doing organza tomorrow. And talking about floating it because. Um, mm -hmm. You can float organza, you don't have to hoop it, and you're better off not hooping it. So when you do organza, you can tape the bottom piece on, put your, of your water soluble stabilizer, then you can um, spray to keep the top layer on. Mm -hmm. And uh, you don't use as much organza that way. You, you save a lot of fabric. Good. So we're, our, little, uh, our little moose, meese, mooses, are coming out. I don't know <laughs> what's the plural of moose. Is it moose? Uh, they're coming out I'm pretty cute here. Uh, although I'm really worried about their faces. They're kind of those noises are going to have to fill a lot of space. I would have thought they would have had black noses. They are going to have black noses. We haven't gotten that far. <laughs> okay. Well, that's a deep subject. It is a deep subject. All right, so now I'm gonna do the back side. So I'm gonna go, I'm gonna string piece mine um, on the back. So again, I'm gonna take my 45, I'm gonna try to make it so my Okay, so this is my front. This is my back. You ever notice you have to talk to yourself to make sure you get things right? Oh, I talk to myself all the time. Uh, all the time. The older I get, the worse I get. All right, perfect. So Steph, on the back, you don't have to go down to the cup at all. On the back, you don't have to go to what? You don't have to have a cup? You don't have to have a cup for the back? Nope, you don't have to have a cup for the back. You want a cup on your back? I'm going to put a cup on my back. Oh, Jean's going to put a cup on her back. I'm not putting a cup on mine. Let's throw a little red and white one up there that we long arm. So I don't know if everybody saw it or not. So this is the littlest size. Dusty stitched it. And so he stitched his cuff and he did heels and toes in the um, white. And then his back is just black. Or <laughs> oh boy. And then this is the medium size. And of course, got the cup up here, but no cup on the back side. So, and I'll put these in a box and use them 
again maybe sometime down the road as samples or whatever. The red one's a giveaway. Right. You need some oxygen, girl. I need some something. It is awfully warm in here. Are you warm? No, I'm just right, actually. But maybe if I was cold, I wouldn't be yawning. <laughs> What do you think? I think you're going to go home and eat lasagna and go to bed. You think? We have to go over to the shop yet and get those tools. And I have to get next week's pattern done. She's a busy girl. I am. So the paper piecing class for next Sunday um is going to be cardinals so i have to get it my goal is to get everything written finished written whatever tonight and then um we'll send you guys out anybody who's signed up we'll send you guys out the um email you the pattern and the you know this is the stuff you're gonna need list um, list. Hopefully tomorrow, Tuesday at the very latest. Um, made so I can fold it. And then I have to get it. I really hope I can get it made. So I hope I don't feel too awful after the dentist. Because I'll need to get it made. And whoever's in that class will vote on their runners also, and I'll quote one for free. Cool. Well, so that ladies, pattern, will that pattern be a digital download for us or what? It will. Okay. Yep. I'll be and there's no out. charge for it. Thank you. We'll just email it to you. And then if you don't have an add a quarter ruler or whatnot, they are still on the website from last week. Yep. I just ordered and, one. Yep. You, You're you going to have to have one of those. Or it's going to be very handy to have one. Let's put yeah. it that way. You can get a right way without it, but it's it's much easier with. There'll be cussing involved. There'll be cussing. It. There'll be cussing involved, involved anyway. <laughs> I, I don't want to have to be the reason you have to curse. Okay. It sounded good, didn't it? Yep. What do I do? Whose hand? Ooh. I can't see. That one's pretty. What is it? A stocking that's got all pretty colors and cupcakes and polka dots. I like cupcakes. And fringe. Who's, Which, who's is it? Here, oh. here. Look at this. Oh, look at the fur. Put the stocking up again. Oh, oh look. Oh, fun. That's a big stocking. <laughs> I love it. That's fun. She's in Florida sewing on her deck. Is where she's. She's at. in Florida sewing on the deck. In her sunroom. How? What's the porch? What's the weather like there? Uh, not dry, hot, humid, hot, humid, huh? Mm. It's not hot here, uh, but it's still nicer than sitting in the air conditioner all day. We're going to have snow next week. Oh, wow. That means I'm going bear hunting. There you go. Is it bear hunting season? If there's snow on the ground and bear season's in, that's what I'll be doing. One went under your dad's stand yesterday morning at 8.30. You got pictures of it. Oh, yeah? Mm -hmm. So in case you don't know, hunters nowadays have these cameras all over their property so they can check out all the wildlife. But now they're cordless digital Wi-Fi that they look on their phone. And so the boys just sit there and watch, you know, stuff go by. You get a real a real time photo email to you. Not email. There's an app. Yeah, it comes straight, straight in. Yeah, the boys though, they, they. Dad's getting one. 
Oh, now dad's getting one. Well, don't they have three already? Bryce, Bryce does. Yeah. But they probably have 20 cameras total, at least 20. But they have to go check them all, don't they? Yeah. yeah. This way, that just comes to them. Yeah, but they're pricey. You don't want to buy a bunch of them. Unless you can get a real good deal. Because they're a couple hundred bucks a piece. Well, your kids have a big investment in their uh, sport. Yes. No different than sewing. No, you're right. And it yeah. keeps them out of trouble. Every hobby is expensive. If you get into it. Yeah, you can't crochet without spending money. I mean, anything you yeah. craft, you have to buy it basically unless you make it. Mm -hmm. And I don't know very many women that spin wool nowadays and then crochet it. Right. Or knit it. I know a few. Doesn't Michelle spin? Michelle. Brian's Brian Michelle? Michelle? I don't know that you do goats. Oh, <laughs> goat, <laughs> would, <laughs> goat wouldn't do me very good. I forgot regard. it was goats. I thought it was sheep. Your cats have longer hair than goats do. <laughs> hey, we ain't spinning my cats. <laughs> I'm confused, but that's nothing new. Ooh, this one's not even used. No, it's not that you're making a stock. Oh, it's beyond that. The confusion. I want the right color. I'm going to open up a senior living facility for retired quilters. And then you can all be together and be confused together all day. Uh, sign <laughs> but me you up. still create. You all still create. It'll just take a couple of you to do it. That's all. Uh, and then I'll cook and clean for you. I like the cooking and cleaning for me part. <laughs> I, I like that too, especially the cooking and cleaning. Yeah, cooking and someone and else cooks for me, I'm all there. And at okay. night, I'm gonna go along and close the doors with the bars and I'm gonna have a good time at night. We got <laughs> women here lined up for the cooking and cleaning part. Listen, G tried to <laughs> hire Dusty for $50 a week to clean the RV. <laughs> and he wouldn't go for it. Hey, it's a small place. <laughs> It's not the place size that's the problem. It's all this. <laughs> okay, I'm going to tell you, there's a brand of thread I don't care for. <laughs> what is it? I'm not saying on air. <laughs> I just spout it right out loud. I know you would, but... Good part. Good news is that I don't own this thread. You do. I'm stealing from you. I have a great story about glide thread. You like glide? No, I was one of the very first people on the planet to run it, and yeah. it made me so angry at the long arm that I took it off and I threw it across the venue. I hate glide thread. <laughs> I've tried to like it. I just don't. They're nice people. Yeah, give me thread like crazy. I know. Me give too. me thread for the class like crazy. I just can't personally run it. It I'm just breaks have to for me. This thread this so. is what it is. That's, thread breaks. That's right. And it's doesn't matter what you do to it. You've oh. used a lot of different colors of it. Not glide. No, not that. Well, the other get this stuff. I don't like it. Well, and it could be just that they have so much on the the spool is so heavy. But I don't think so. Because even when it gets low, it has problems. But we will adjust. Three days, how many cuss words did I say when I was out there breaking thread day after day after yeah, six? Yeah, that was not good. And it, what happened? I didn't do anything. Three days later, it stopped. And it started working again. Yeah, and it started working A again. lot of it has to do with humidity, though. Uh, or the temperature outside. Or the gremlins that live at the quilt shop. Or if Dave touched it. Or... If you touched it or. Well, you know, us people that work with fabric are touchy feely. Mm -hmm. That's making a sound. I don't like it. 
might be time for a new meal. You're making a sound and I don't like it. <laughs> <laughs> Can you stop? <laughs> See how good we get along? <laughs> if she drives me too crazy, I'll put that can of, of silly string in her mouth and fill it up. <laughs> he tried to get me to taste it yesterday. There's no <laughs> taste. I tasted it. <laughs> Is everybody still with us? Does anybody have any questions? Everybody's so quiet. It's just like any other day. We're just sewing. Yeah. Well, yeah, but we're supposed to be telling them what we're doing. And I'm having to think, well, yeah. I hate this thread. Can, all do you have the volume up, Dusty? Yeah. I only have one lady on screen. She has gray hair and a green shirt, and she's got tongue and groove ceilings. That's the only thing I can see. <laughs> and I can't hear anybody. Hey, Dave. There, the one you can see. I don't know. You're on a phone. Yeah, I'm on a phone. Trying to behave ourselves. That's all. Oh, okay. Is anybody making stockings, or did we already ask that? It's question? because they've all gone to day drinking and don't want <laughs> us to see. Amen. <laughs> I, I had to stop day drinking. I I'll have something to show in about a minute. Okay. <laughs> Okay. I'm working I would have had something to show. Turkey. I didn't hear what she said. Was she asking me out? They're all turning their cameras off, Dusty. I, I can't I hear her. turkey. She she's needle pointing a turkey. Uh, Are you showing us? It's really cute. Isn't it cute? I bumped, yes. so I'm I'm trying to rest my knee. You fell. Yeah. No, I twisted it. Mary Lynn, she twisted it. I'm so sorry. Things don't heal as fast as they used to either. Well, on me. <laughs> yeah, no, me too. If you take a syringe full of whiskey and stick it in there. Hit the plunger mm -hmm. will stop her. <laughs> yeah, you know that's, that's your, what the old timer. That's did. what your your cure is for everything. You're either drinking it, you're spraying it on, or you're inserting it somewhere. <laughs> how, how often do I get sick? And take and I take no medicine, nothing. That's right. Not hey, we haven't been sick. Not a pill. We've had a little bit of allergies. Oh, the allergies here are horrible. Welcome to Northwestern Pennsylvania. We hope you enjoy <laughs> your stay. <laughs> I've been drugged up the whole time I've been here. Well, well, well this whole because you're fall. from California. <laughs> yeah, the fall. You have different I'm things out there. Did you put a needle? new needle? Yeah, I just did. And I'm going to try it now. And if it doesn't work, then I'm giving up on this. And she said, the thread. I swear. Her jar is already full for the day. Hey, Steph. <laughs> yeah. Tell, tell G that if she's having trouble with her thread, that I know a girl that sells these thread directors that really make <laughs> it better. <laughs> she's using a thread director, though. Yeah, I'm using one, and it's and it's uh, this one brand of thread is giving me hissy fits. I'm just kidding. <laughs> oh, oh, I know why. Why? Because I know who it's made by just I, by looking at the cone. That's right. I know who it's made by too. <laughs> I just don't like it. It's the same one as mine. It is yours. I know. It's the same. You're not embroidering them. I'm not using it even right now. Well, then why are you comparing it to what I'm using? <laughs> I'm saying it's the same kind. <laughs> I'm saying it's the same kind of cone. God. <laughs> uh, you have to compare apples and apples, not, you know, apples and oranges. Oh, and my dear. You my... might pull this off as a brown because it's awfully dark. That's good. It reads, it's, it's a purple plum, but I think it's going to read more of a brown. 
Right. See if this. Why can't you use this one? Because I'm. It's got to have a little bit more red in it. I want what I'm. What the heart wants. Okay? I'm about starved. <laughs> Me too. He's he's serving lasagna after the show. Yeah, I made homemade lasagna. Who wants to come? Me. Come on over. I'll have Dick put a piece in an envelope and send it to you. Okay. I think I'm having chicken livers. Ugh. Ooh. Chicken what? Who's yeah. eating chicken liver? <laughs> Carol? Mary Lynn. Mary Lynn. Mary Lynn. How do you prepare that? How do I eat chicken livers? I love them. No, prepare them. Oh, I... Uh, I dredge them in flour and baking powder and salt and seasoning. And then I fry them for till they're crispy. And then I put them in the oven for the last 15 minutes. How she makes chicken liver. I never ate a chicken liver. She's rather fond of her chicken. So I doubt that she'll be eating any parts of them. <laughs> You don't live in the right part of the country to have grown up on them. It's just like spam. Not everybody knows what it is. Is that like the Midwest thing? Because that's where I'm from originally. Yep. I don't know. And we were big spam people. <laughs> Apparently, I still am. Same thing with grits or cream of wheat and oatmeal. I'm the oatmeal person. I don't like the cream of wheat. I thought cream of wheat was just for older people that couldn't digest the oatmeal really good. Mm. Yeah. Guys are so cute. Yeah. I'm cursing this thread. And I think it might not have been the thread at all. No, it is, I, I'm having to feed it in to the machine. That's the thread. Okay, Marvin or Lucy, that's one Zoom thing, they've raised their hand. We so it's a little thing. Well, yeah, but I'm looking at it. So I don't know. It's supposed to mean they have a question. Yeah. So I don't know. It's well, Lucy. Lucy or Marvin, whichever one of you it is. If you have a question, can you just turn your microphone on and ask yes, away? You Maybe you need to turn their microphone on for them. Going and see Dusty's thing before we're done here. Explain the embroidery uh, machine. I understand the other one, but what's happening with the embroidery machine? She wants to know what's happened with the embroidery machine. Well, how, how did you get the pattern? What are you doing? We can't see anything happening over there. Can you see it now? Yes. Okay, so this is my first design that's out. The two deer, you see them hanging on to the ornaments. And then I have a couple of more that are going to go at the top of the stocking. But this is, it's a partial embroidery, partial applique. And this was from John Deere, um, his collect, one of his little collections or whatever. I downloaded like three or four of these designs. Okay. okay. All right. What you, I think what you need to do is really explain how the whole process works. So you download a design. And you put it on a thumb drive, and this is your machine is basically a, a computer with a screen on the front. Okay. I don't know. Let me see if we let me see if we can get the camera around so you can see the screen. So mine, this is an embroidery machine with. This is an older embroidery machine. Mine came out in uh, two thousand and eight, November, and I was one of the very first people to buy this machine. And I was lucky enough that. Um, Look at the little picture up in the corner and show it. Okay, I was lucky enough that. Uh, 
I hope this isn't pixelating too much. No, I go. can see it. That's good. Okay. So I took these designs and combined them on my embroidery machine. And now I'm embroidering them out and the ornaments were appliqued. Okay. And then the mousse are embroidery. And then we'll post a picture when it's all done so you can see them all. But okay. um, what, what the embroidery design does, especially with applique, is it gives you an outline first of what you're gonna be appliqueing. Then you put your fabric down over the outline and it'll come back and it'll stitch it again. So the fabric is stitched down. Then we go and we cut the fabric away from the stitch okay. line and that okay. makes the applique. And then it goes back and it will do a satin stitch around the, um, the applique. Then it goes back and it does the embroidery portion, the, the moose, their antlers and their hands and their arms and stuff. So embroidery machines are amazing. You can quilt with them. There's quilt blocks already designed and you can uh, do all your blocks in advance and then put them together. You can do freestanding lace. You can do um, in the hoop projects. So one of the in the hoop projects that we did a few weeks ago is this um, sunflower. We did it for our table runner. And that is all done with organza in the hoop. And then you wash the water soluble stabilizer away and, and it assembles it too after you do all your petals. Yep. Wow. So, okay. so that's what we do in Embroidery Club. We do these kind of projects. Fantastic, thank you. Then I got myself some bad thread and... So did that help Lucy? Yes, it does. Thank you. Yeah, both Stephanie and, and Gigi tend to think that everybody knows more than they actually do. <laughs> and since I don't sew, a lot of times when I listen to the explanation, it doesn't mm -hmm. make sense to me. Okay. So, so I have them explain it from the very basic beginning because they just... So Gigi tells a story all the time about a woman who she was trying to help with metallic thread. And she went through every conceivable thing and couldn't figure it out. And so she told the woman- Tell her what was happening. No, you didn't tell her it was breaking. Okay, so I'm telling a story and my wife decides to tell me to tell it correctly. So I'll let her tell the story. <laughs> no, 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 no. You uh, tell the them you know, that I was at an event. I was demoing the thread director with the metallic thread because the thread, doesn't break nearly as often if you have a thread director. It will break on occasion, but not like, you know, whatever. Am I in the picture even? You're in the picture. Oh, okay. So anyway, um, what happened is a woman came up to me complaining that her thread director didn't work properly and she was upset. She's in my picture, but you're all told her again, since you guys are directing, I'll change it. There you go. Okay. So anyway, the woman we went through all of the reasons why her thread could be breaking. Her tension could have been too high. Her machine could have been going too fast. Um, her needle could have, you know, not been the right size, whatever. But when I asked her the last time she changed her needle, she looked at me like a deer in the headlights. And she said, you have to change the needle. And I said, oh. bingo, we have a winner. <laughs> so <laughs> what it was is she had a 10 needle machine and she never changed the needles. So what I told her to do is change needle number one, put the thread director back on and feed it through the machine like I told her to. And if she still had problems, I wanted her to call me. I never heard from her again, but she came behind me and whispered, do we have to tell anybody about this? <laughs> and I said, this is too good not to tell, but I'm not gonna tell anybody your name. So she said, oh, okay. okay. And I never heard from her again. So I'm assuming that it worked. Well, you you know. plug your phone in. And so most Go ahead. Most of the problems are needle problems, okay? Um, okay. When you're working with, um, when you're working with metallic threads, the if the eye is not big enough, the thread will rub on the inside of the eye and it'll create a burr because metallic thread has got metal in it and it will damage the inside of the eye if it's too tight, okay? Mm -hmm. So, okay. Um, and I, when you're working with metallic thread, on a regular domestic machine, use a 9014 top stitch needle or a 116 top stitch needle if you're using heavier thread, okay? It's gotta, okay. Be, a it's gotta be a top stitch needle. And I had one customer that kept coming back and saying, I can't get it to work. 
but she and I kept asking what needle are you using and she's I'm using a metallic needle I'm using this needle but never a top stitch and I said please please put a top stitch needle in there and I never heard from her again so I'm assuming it worked so here's wow. the difference between her story and my story <laughs> my story was when they got to the point where the woman said you're supposed to change your needle when okay. when my wife tells that story everybody who sews laughs I listened to that story and I said, listen, if I was learning to sew and nobody ever told me to change the needle, right. I would never change the needle. So they leave out the whole point of not everybody knows everything that they know. And you got to go a lot of times very, very basic when you walk people through things. My assumption would be most of the people in our audience have some sewing knowledge. Well, my assumption would be the same thing, but when because it came to the embroidery machine. You know what happens when you assume. Yes. <laughs> I so what's the thread director? The thread director is this little gizmo that's sitting right up here on my machine. You see the two spools of thread it's holding? Yes. What it is doing, it is bringing the thread off of the spool the way it was put on the spool, the way it was intended to come off from the side. Unfortunately, uh -huh. most of our machines nowadays have has a vertical spool pin that lays flat like this. Right, right. And the thread comes off the end of the spool. And as it comes off, it twists. Do you see how that mm -hmm. thread twists as it's coming off? You can't see it really good. Take a piece of toilet or a, a roll of toilet paper and you'll get the oh. idea really, really well. Okay. Okay. But the um, when your thread twists, especially metallic threads, it gets a little kink in mm -hmm. the metallic and it breaks at the tension discs. Oh. If you get the kink out, if there's no kink, then you don't have that issue. So here's my toilet paper. This is my my spool of thread. And as it comes off from the end, this is what happens. Oh yeah, I see, wow. Yeah, that builds up, especially if you're a chain piecer and that twist is building up. What it does is it changes the length of your stitches, makes your seams all different lengths and you have a tendency to stretch your um, seams to get your blocks to match, okay? okay? And if you do that, you warp your quilt. So the thread director was a bit originally invented for metallic thread, but all thread works better when you use the thread director because it's coming off the way it was wound on the spool. Okay. For the side. Wow. All right. So that's Thank the you. brief explanation <laughs> of it. But this, this specific thread that I have on the machine right now, it doesn't matter what color I put on there, I have a problem. So I'm assuming it's the thread. Because if I can run metallic thread with no problems, and I can't run this, there's something's wrong. So, but I'm going to deal with it because I have to have that color. All right. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. Thanks for raising your hand. <laughs> <laughs> now, now I learned something new. What did you learn? I learned that when you click on the icon to raise your hand, it means you have a question. You want to talk, huh? Yeah. I thought maybe she was just waving because on Facebook you can click a thing that says wave to the person. But I do like the picture she puts up with the really fancy uh, headscarf. Or what, I don't know what it's called. I'm sure there's a name for it. And I probably just offended somebody. But... No, that's that's it. That's fine. Thank you. Hello, yeah, everyone. Your... Hello. 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 I uh, did send a text earlier, but I want to apologize for the little kid's voice interrupting y'all at the beginning. Oh, that's okay. How you doing? Well, I'm doing okay. I was a little bit late. And of course, I attended on, on being part of all of this. And at the last minute, we got unexpected company. Her grand, her four-year-old grandson came to visit. You see, yes. you don't have to apologize for your grandchildren because it's always exciting to see them. You do need to apologize for being late because that's just unacceptable. To see. <laughs> Isn't that the truth? Well, he spent a week in Florida at Fort Myer on vacation and they were driving back to Cincinnati. I didn't know Nashville was on the way. Oh, how nice. So that was a nice little detour they did. So are they gone already? No, he, they got here last night about 930 and they're still here for right now. But I imagine they'll head out to Cincinnati before too long. Yeah. But it's exciting to see him. You know how, you know, you can't see they anybody anymore. They grow very fast. They hmm? grow fast. 
Oh my gosh. Amazing. I don't have any, any grandchildren. My children don't reproduce. <laughs> I taught them too well. <laughs> well, he was the only one until March. And in March, a second one was born. But of course, you couldn't see him. Oh, yeah. Are you still so, haven't seen him? Well, he's up in Cincinnati. Um, after they went down to Florida for a vacation, the mom and the baby flew back to Cincinnati. And my son and the older one drove. Uh, so you still didn't get to see the baby? No, but we uh, will. But you get pictures and everything, so that's nice. Yes, yeah, yes, and he won't have a clue, you okay. know, at his age. Yeah, you, at my age, you don't have a clue either. <laughs> <laughs> Good point. It all goes. It just seeps out of your brain. <laughs> You're too funny, G. Okay, I have my, oh, look, I did two. Can you guys see the talkers? Look at the screen. We, it's just me on the screen. You can't see Susan? No. Oh, Susan. Oh, look. And I, had a, I found some little... Oh, that's really nice, Susan. I love the bees. Oh. I, the it was just the length right? of trim that I had in my little thing. So I did one, and then I did... Well, she's an overachiever. Look at that, <laughs> too. That's cute. Again, you know, if you have everything cut out, you're just mm -hmm. sewing one strip and another strip. It it doesn't take much more time to do the two as it does to do the one. So anyway, I'm just so I have to tell you guys that I'm so excited about this that in all the years I've been quilting, I have never made stockings. Oh. It's always been store bought ones. So I'm really excited. So thank you very yeah, much. They're, they're fun and they're easy yeah. and they're very personal. You can Depending on the fabric you make it out of, right? And who you're making it for, you can really, you know. Oh yeah, you can really dress it up, so dress just, it down. So yeah. I was texting my yeah. daughter-in-law this afternoon, and I'm going to be making three. They got two new kittens, and she can't remember if the other cat had one. So I, I'm, we'll be making three cat stockings soon too. <laughs> you want to add two cat stockings to that? <laughs> <laughs> I think I even have Christmas cat fabric if I. If I'm uh, not mistaken. So, anyway. Gracie and Bogart. <laughs> <laughs> and the Our other observation. Really cute Christmas fabric with cats. Oh, oh, hold in closer. Oh, that is cute. Wait, I can't see. Oh, it's a Laurel Birch Christmas cat? Oh, oh wow. I didn't know about that Where one. Is it? Where the is other it? Susan needs to Suzanne. talk so she comes up. Oh, it They've been around, it, these are old. I've had yeah. them for a while, so. Um, but there's a couple of them that have cats in it, so. so she does a lot of cat stuff. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I know she did. I know I, I, I should, oh, I need to go to my, I need to go to my cat fabric bin and see what's in there. Yeah. I have one of those. <laughs> Me too. Yeah. <laughs> Quilters like cats. There was... I, I, before we even moved to Michigan, which was in 97, so I was still in Canada, there was somebody, and I don't even know where they were, I might have a piece of paper, and it was online only, but she sold nothing but cat fabrics. Mm. So, she, I bet she was the cat lady. I, it wasn't, that's not the name, of, I can't remember. So this would have been probably the late... 80s early 90s and I remember buying like a charm pack like of all her sample like a five inch pack of all her fabrics I am I, so there's some really really old stuff in there so I'm gonna just gonna dig that out yes use it up wear it out or do without that was my son's great-grandfather's saying <laughs> together would make it a longer strip and it would look good, too. I can't hear that. I can't hear that. I said you could piece, if, five, if they wear five-inch charm packs, you could piece the charm packs together and make them longer strips. Oh, yeah, sure. That burns fine. Oh, fiddle. You did it, didn't you? <laughs> yes, I did. 
Stephanie needs a blade. Stephanie, we can't hear you. There's no step or G. Are we back? Now you are. Okay. Dave, Dave did something. Shot touch. <laughs> poor Dave. Poor no, Dave. No, poor Dave might be behind. <laughs> he needs to stop touching stuff he doesn't know nothing about. <laughs> Listen, none, none of this. Absolutely none of this would have been possible, one, without me suggesting that you guys do it, and two, me getting all the stuff together and buying all the wrong things, but making <laughs> it happen. I have to toot my own horn. Nobody else does it for me. <laughs> That's right. It's a doggy dog world here. I, I think the last comment from Stephanie was, Dave, quit touching things. <laughs> Stop touching stuff. Well, all I, all I would have to say, Stephanie, is that Susan did two stockings in the time that you're almost done with one. But she was talking. Susan did two of one, two one sides. And, but Susan made and I'm on my second. And I'm no, not Susan. teaching. And I'm not teaching. Neither are they. <laughs> <laughs> You're just watching them sew. <laughs> Dave, you know you're you're a difficult person. <laughs> Tell me I'm wrong. You're wrong. I've been in class before and I know the difference between teaching and, and just <laughs> demonstrating. Well, once you tell them strip piecing, people know what strip piecing is, Dave. You may not know what it is. But I bet you these people in this room do. I know now, but I also know that when you're teaching, part of giving a class is to continue to talk throughout the entire I can't thing. talk nonstop. Sure you can. No. You do it when you're off camera, you do it all the time. All the time. <laughs> you never stop. Dave, you're gonna have to exit this room. <laughs> well, oh, wait, wait. listen, Dusty. Turn the camera on yourself. Um, I don't know how to Susan? do that. I, I was just told not to touch anything. Uh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> I, I don't know if you've noticed, but if you have looked closely at Dave, he looks just like Debbie. They could be twins. I was looking at, like, you don't see him too often. He doesn't stay on too long, but. And Debbie doesn't have a beard. <laughs> but if she I'm did. to hear that. <laughs> but if she did, she'd look just like Dave. <laughs> So for everybody in the audience, uh, when I first met Susan, it turned out we had one person in common. There you go. There's me. And then I, I, I said to her, how do you know Debbie? And she said, well, they go to the same church or something. She says, how do you know? Well, she told me she's known Debbie for seven years. Yeah. And I said, I I've know known Debbie for 35 years. <laughs> the Vogue thing. There you go. Vogue, she's my sister-in-law. So they're Vogue. <laughs> yeah. Okay. You can turn it back. Now. See? Well, there it is. I was trying to find you. Okay, there you go. Yeah. Yes. 
Yeah. So him and Debbie look an awful lot alike. Yes, they do. Yeah. Yeah. My condolences to my sister. Yeah. <laughs> and I think I found oh Suzanne. I found I found some Laurel Birch Christmas cats. <laughs> Ooh, do you, did you show, are you going to show us? I did, I, I am. Wait, I have to find, it's, this is really screwed up. We can't see um, everybody. And there okay. she is. There. See? I don't Ooh. have that one. Pardon me? <laughs> I don't have that one. That you don't have that one? one. Nope. <laughs> you have it in different colors. Then I, found... I think I have it with a black background. Yeah, Suzanne had it in a different color. I found all sorts. I don't even know. How, this is like, look at this. This is like little Christmas cat angels. Oh, mm. Isn't that ones? from my heart to yours or something like that? There's nothing on the salvage. It was a fat And some of this, and I, I just found, I just found Halloween cats. Ooh. Yeah. Halloween cats and pumpkins. So it's like it's over here. like that. This like a is, is not a cat person. <laughs> oh, Steph likes Halloween, but not cats. Right. These are like little. Oh, I don't. She's a little old fashioned Christmas cat. Anyway, I found stuff I didn't know I had, as usual. For, for dogs. That happens every week to you, though. <laughs> I know. But see, I, I got to thank you guys for getting me into all my cubbies. You move your hand for a second, Jean. Okay. So that's oh. why the embroidery thing that Jean is doing looks like. Yes, we're getting there. Okay. You're upside down, but you get the idea. Stand on your head. <laughs> okay, let's go back. Now, let me get Stephanie into the shot. All right, so when will your project be done, Chief, so we can show them? Well, it's not going to be done during this show. Yes, I know that. Or during this class. I mean, but I bet you I can have it done by Stitch and Bitch. All right, Stitch and Bitch, it is. So if everybody can have a stocking done by Stitch and Bitch, we'll have show and tell. That'll be fun. That sounds good. So here's the back. Let's see. Wait, how do we see the picture? Who's talking? <laughs> I oh, that's so pretty. So your machine did that was the using the crosshatch and a little star fill in, Bernice. Yeah, it did. It did it. It did it all in embroidery. So pretty. Oh wow! And it just filled the frame and then I cut the stocking out after it was all done. Right. Oh, that's beautiful. Beautiful. Wow. So that'll be the back. Nice. Very nice. Yeah, I'm just using two different Christmas prints for my back. So. I yeah I I thought about that too. I. You know, and that, that oh no, could, but it, that matches the front. Yeah, you you have to do yeah. that because it goes with your front. Well, yeah. And the fabric, my son brought it back from Thailand for me. So he bought it at the market. It's like silk dupiné. So oh. cool. I have some beautiful silk from China, but I haven't done anything with it yet. I've had this uh -huh. for many years. <laughs> what did yours look like, Pat? Right here. They're both done. Both sides. Oh, that's nice. Beautiful, beautiful. Oh, oh, that's really nice, Ooh, Pat. Ooh, that's good. Now All my favorite goodies thing. are on there. <laughs> oh, fun. Very fun. I, I love the, the fuzzy on the top. It, yeah. I don't know whether you can see it, but it's like purple and pink and blue and all different colors and I like the bright colors. Uh -huh. well, yeah, this is a perfect project. So how's it going over there? I'm done. Now, should people see you doing this or does everybody already know sure. exactly what to do and they don't need any instruction? She's cutting off the excess fabric. <laughs> yeah. And I'll do it neater once with the rotary cutter when it's, you know, but I'm, I'm just gonna trim this off kind of close. So if we're just doing like a, a single piece of fabric on the back, do we just do that to the batting or do we need the piece of muslin? No, you can okay. just do that to the batting and then, okay. then you're lining. Right, okay. 
Yeah, you only need the muslin if you're going to string piece it. Okay. Just so you have something to, you know, okay. foundation of some sort. See, Pat, I would assume that you already knew that. Uh-oh. Oh. Just a troublemaker, ladies. There's just no doubt about it. I know. I'm on your, listen, I'm on the student side. I'm a the student advocate here. I'm going to stab you. <laughs> <laughs> and she'll do it. <laughs> Been there, done that. These scissors aren't sharp. That's the only problem. I told you those aren't the sharp ones. There's another pair right here, isn't there? Purple no, I meant scissors. the point. They aren't pointy points. Oh. Dave. Yes? You're a pain in my tush. You want to go see what Dusty's getting finished? Listen, I just yeah. told you to a higher standard. Um, you, you mean with the camera? Yeah. yeah. I yes. don't think that I should take this off. <laughs> No, just don't take it off. Just, just unplug it and wheel the whole thing. Doing the, wheeling this thing through is not. He did. Ladies, um, my oh, he's going to bring it to him. Make Christmas stockings like that and give to sheltering wings for the kids that are in the um, uh, abuse place and then they fill them up with toys every year we where, where is up. this mary lynn we in uh indiana we try to give a hundred stockings to them for the kids that are there with their mo their moms you know it's like an abused shelter and if we uh, send some to you you you'll make sure they get to the right place oh yeah sure but um it's i was just going to say if you have a quilt to build and you have places around you uh, my daughter has taken some of the excess ones and filled them with uh, soap and shampoo and handed them out to the homeless in Indianapolis, too. Oh. So it's just an idea that if you have strings and you have uh, stuff to make them and you like making them, that there, there is a um, place that you can donate them to. Oh, I like that. Next week is uh, is uh, what is it? Contribute. Next week is contribute. I think make, make a, a difference, difference day. day. Yeah, make a difference day. That's making a difference. Okay, so here is. I don't know if they can see. Yes. They can. They can see. They She's going to put herself on. Oh, there. Look, you're really good on there. They look beautiful. They're pretty. Yeah. So there they go. So if you want to put your names or or whatever, put glitter and glue on their cuff or any of those things. Now you want to do that before, obviously, before you finish. Um and put the pieces together. Now, when you're doing your lining, Dave, can you turn off your sound? Just go out there. Okay. I'm trying to find my lining. See, buried underneath all of that. <laughs> <laughs> so your lining pieces. So you're gonna put right sides together and what you need to do is you're going to want to stitch. This is the back side of the stocking. So you're going to stitch from the top, do a little back stitch, come down a couple of inches, back stitch again, then leave yourself an opening about five inches ish long. Back stitch here and then continue all the way around and up to the top again and back stitch then you can, you'll be able to, you need to leave that open so you can turn the stocking. So while this is, um, turn your, turn your stocking part, this part in right side out and leave the lining inside out and then stick the outside of the uh, stocking down inside the 
um, lining, stitch all the way around the top, and then turn it through the, the opening that you left in the lining, and then whip stitch that closed, and that will be that. So you're gonna do that? Well, do you have time? What time is it? It's time. Don't forget you have to put the hanging tab in there. Yep, you do have to put the hanging tab in there, which I already made mine. So for anybody who didn't understand everything she just said, I'll be giving a class later in the week <laughs> on basic sewing stuff. You just so, admitted you don't know anything about basic sewing stuff. Yeah, no, no. What I left out is I'm going to have, have to have somebody teach me. <laughs> so I'm going to go ahead and stitch this uh, quickly. So just quarter inch seam allowance. And I'm going to back stitch at the top. And down a couple of inches. Back stitch again. Now, why do you back stitch after a couple inches? Because it ties ties it off, so it, will, it won't come on sewn. Okay. If you don't back stitch, you know how when you. No, I get the idea of back stitching, but why do you do it and then do it again a couple inches down? Because oh, I that's where you're leaving the opening. Mm -hmm. Okay. If you'd have listened to my instructions instead of being so judgmental, you may have understood what I was doing, Dave. Whoops. Oops. <laughs> I'm gonna put my caps in a new place, apparently. I find those caps everywhere. I know, we've got a million of them. Caps. You may lose caps. Oh, the other thing too, you're going to want to remember to clip your seams. That, mean? that means, curves. yep, we're going to clip the curves. And I'll show you as soon as I stitch around this the rest of the way. It makes the curve bend easier if you clip it. Otherwise, you're going to get a little pulling, pleated stuff. Is she actually going to demonstrate? I am. Okay. I'm just, <laughs> I'm, I'm letting, hang on, I'm leaning there close so I can learn. I'm going to give them close. If we're ever going to do really good sewing classes, I'm going to have to learn how to sew. <laughs> no, Dusty gives really good sewing classes. He doesn't know how to sew. <laughs> Just so you know, Stephanie. Yeah. The video frame that you're in. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it shows you chewing your gum, rolling your gum, spitting your gum out. It's okay. I'm just making sure. The, the picture really isn't really a good angle. I well, I, I can't get any closer. We have to improve our camera equipment. And they, I want to just be able to do it once the right way. <laughs> we don't have to always yeah. improve. Oh, you mean buy, keep buying more stuff? Don't yeah. hold your breath. Well, okay, so now I've stitched all the way around my little stocking here. And if I can find my little scissors, I guess I'll use these ones. Hang on. I just kicked, <laughs> kicked the tripod, but there's your scissors. You guys don't believe me when I, you think I'm trying to get out of filming it's by true. saying Dusty does a better job. Dusty does a better job. So you're going to take your little snips and you're going to just snip up to about, I don't know, a 16th of an inch ish away from the stitch line there. Okay, we'll get in super close. 
and you're going to want to do this on both the lining and the um in so the what outer is this called stocking. again clipping the seam yeah it's called clipping the seam well no i got i have a terrible memory i gotta hear it several times yeah how do you do it i only do the chips because i'm afraid of going through the sewing line well, you have to be careful. Well, I know, but then it's just doing the clipping the curve. Yeah, it's clipping the curve, not clipping the seam. <laughs> so you're, yes. you're so you're using you're teaching me the wrong terms. That's it. I'm I'm gonna make sure that you do it all wrong, Dave. That's okay. I go to YouTube. <laughs> I'll watch your other videos where you're. You'll just criticize me the I'm whole distracted. time. Distracted. Most of us get along really well. <laughs> Dave is being in the ass. Well, I, I apologize if you feel I'm criticizing you, Stephanie. I just, I just really, really, really want to give the best classes we can and I want to learn at the same time. Well, we have all learned something from this, Dave. <laughs> <laughs> it might not be so. <laughs> I can read Stephanie. <laughs> okay, so, and then I just will do this a little bit. Can I ask a question? You can ask as many questions as you like, Dave. So what happens if you go too far and actually <laughs> then you're like going to cut the, your seam? Yeah. And then you're going to have to stitch so it again. So you just sew over it again. Well, yeah, except for you've already stitched through it. So you're going to have to stitch, stitch inside. inside, which means it's going to be smaller. Your fabric, basically. You've got to leave some fabric there, right? So now you're going to leave this part inside out. Now, if I had this done already, because you would, you would leave this, you would turn this part right side out. And then this is gonna stick down inside of here. So sew it together, wrong sides together first. Correct. On that one, yeah. Yeah. So I have to cut this off, my extra fabric. Hmm? Oh, this, never mind. So, just so I understand this, when G questions what you're doing, that's okay. <laughs> that's not criticism. But when G I ask, asking, when I ask, a question, G is asking an honest to goodness question. You're just being a pain in my butt. No, G was suggesting you're doing it wrong. No, I was asking a question. She said, Don't, "Doesn't that have to go over?" And then she says, so, "Oh no." What well, she originally questioned what you were doing. Eight. I was questioning in my mind, trying to figure it out. This but is you're that. a troublemaker. You don't <laughs> worry about the key and I. We're fine. fine. <laughs> All right. So now I'm going to whip around this baby here real quick. Oh, I'm unthreaded. Fooey. I hear someone stitching away. That would probably be Susan. She's on to her next project. <laughs> She's an overachiever, that's for sure. Ooh, I gotta... She's on to the next thing. Yeah. She's probably on to the third stocking she was talking about. No, I'm just kind of tidying up and getting ready for the next one. <laughs> <laughs> what time does this class go till? It's supposed to be over. Okay, that's fine. Because it's so fine. If you want, but if you have to go to your next class, go ahead. <laughs> no, I just have to get bundled up and go for a walk, but I can wait. <laughs> Don't forget to follow us on Facebook. <laughs> well, you do know you could, you could join on your uh, phone and then take your phone with you on the walk and it'd be entertaining and we on the walk. Visiting you. Wait, who does well, that? Nobody does that. 
Yeah, no, my husband, no. <laughs> he goes with you? Yeah, we go for a walk every day. Oh, and he demands you must it. still like each other. You know, <laughs> we're actually liking each other more. So I don't know what's going on, but. Um. Well, some people are finding it hard to be quarantined with their significant other. You know, because oh. they're not used to being around each other. That they much. say divorce rates are up and there's going to be a, a whole new baby boom. So mm -hmm. that's like, which one is it? Oh. Are you divorcing or are you, are you making babies? I mean. <laughs> well, oh. child support going on. <laughs> no, he has his own hobbies, which is really good. So I shut myself away most of the day in here and he shuts himself away doing his stuff. And then we go for a walk. So it's good. Yeah, Dave and I used to walk together <laughs> once <laughs> down the aisle. <laughs> we didn't walk together down the aisle, but we um, really had to walk where we lived because we had this really steep hill you had to go down. And going down wasn't the problem. It was after the walk trying to go back up again. <laughs> So we had um, we had to give it. We used to drive to the bottom of the hill and get out and do a walk and then fly back. <laughs> but you don't want to, you know, you don't want to overtax yourself. You don't want to get stuck. You don't want to get stuck away from home. Oh my God. We had somebody. Yeah, and half the time we'd drive down to the bottom of the hill and then find a restaurant and change our <laughs> mind about walking. That's yeah. That's good. Now, there are times when we walk down to the restaurant and then go to the neighbor's house to get a ride home because we didn't want to walk up the hill after drinking. <laughs> oh, All right, geez. so are we ready to demo how to turn this right side out? Well, I really need to clip the curves. Again? Why don't you show this? <laughs> this is almost done. It's just, we have the hooves done. We just need a little bit more. But you get an idea of how it's going to look. What are you doing there? <laughs> I'm, seeing, I'm seeing where the camera is. Oh, I see. So what am I looking at here? The, come back over here behind me. Okay. And maybe you can get a better picture that way. I can try if I don't get my finger in. So you're supposed to be looking right there. Can you see it? Yeah, it's so cute. You can grab the camera in the middle. Okay, here. And show what you want to show. Well, maybe I can't. Well, they're kind of distorted, but you get the idea. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> they're very cute. Yeah. So there's like four, there's, I think I've got about six of them from John Deere in all different positions. And then some of them are hugging the word joy and some of them are. See, now we're going to sneak around here. I remember, but I'm getting, I'm, I, I'm getting ridiculed by the women in that room. So I figured I'd come in here to a friendly face. But I'm going to head back because Dusty wants to. Yeah, Dusty is, you know, I'm not. I'm not following his instructions. Oh, what are instructions? He's going to bring it to us. That's what he said. Yes. So we we did we turn it did we turn it inside out already? Yes. Oh yeah. No. You turned it right side out. No. You walked away with the camera when we were. <laughs> You're the shittiest camera guy. <laughs> On all of the land. It's a, no wonder I wanted to give up so early on. It had to do with you, <laughs> Mr. Popular. Whew. Well, the important thing in all this <laughs> is I'm having fun. Right. We're happy. And so are we. <laughs> so now I have my outside of my stocking, shoved down in the inside of my stocking. And you're gonna wanna make sure you take your little tab. Where the hell did that go? If anybody can <laughs> it's because I'm trying to keep up. Don't follow me, Dave. First I'm allowed to can't and then I, I can't win. I lost the stinking tab. Did you cut it out? What does it I look cut like? It and sewed it. It's white. That's going to be hard to find on this table. She moved it to the middle before. 
I did, did move, move it to, to the middle. You're right. I did move it, but now I can't find it. So I'm guessing this would be an inappropriate time for me to discuss your teaching. I'm going <laughs> to. <laughs> it's not going to get any lasagna tonight. I can tell you that. <laughs> and you're definitely not in a haircut. Yeah, I wouldn't want one after this. <laughs> Although we could film it, you could give a lesson on how not to give a haircut. Well, how to give a haircut when you're upset with the person you're cutting. I'm going to shoot you <laughs> Yeah. Steph, can you hear me? Yes. Lining, is it put together right sides together or right sides out? Right sides together. Right sides together. Thank you. Yes, ma'am. No, dang it. I hope it is. Ouch. <laughs> Did I throw it in? It's the like record? this all day long, ladies. It's this is no different than any other day in this. Yeah, who, you know, I've considered, I've suggested that we just put a couple cameras in here and let them run all day long. And you could tune in and watch anytime you wanted. Does anybody think that's a good idea or is it just me? Great idea. I think it's a great idea. See? I don't know because there's things that go on behind the camera. <laughs> Yeah, we, you'd have to. We'd have to do one of those things up front about adult content. It could be would. offensive. Yeah. Yeah, and and only Especially tune in if Dave spends too much time inside the studio because Stephanie will go <laughs> apeshit crazy. Yeah, <laughs> it could happen. Yes, it but you may get very entertaining. You may get an opportunity to witness a murder. <laughs> Ooh, what has he got there? Ooh. He's got the beginnings of his stocking. Wow. wow. I love it. Wow. So cool. Oh, I love the little skulls on it. <laughs> That's great. Can, everybody, can you see that good? Looks wow. great. Dave, you or Dusty, wow. you do fantastic work. Oh, I do like the organza. Makes it mm -hmm. pop. Three dimensional skulls. The buttons, Dave. <laughs> They're just buttons. There's one of our viewers in Stephanie's camera. <laughs> so, you know what this means? It's, it's on. on. It means I have to finish it. <laughs> Yeah, but it also means it might be a gift for somebody coming up in the future. Yes, this next week. Could be. So then now it goes off the top as a ruffle. So now Dusty wants me now to then ruffle this across the top or sticking out like this. Hang on. From here up. Wasn't he complaining you already had too many projects and you couldn't get anything done and um, now he's adding another one? When you start adding $100 stockings as giveaways, then you get to complain about it. <laughs> <laughs> next well, christmas yeah. i'm coming talking. i think next christmas we should, should have somebody, a, somebody showing a suzanne. good job suzanne yeah good job okay, oh, okay, right, suzanne. hold it up again suzanne oh isn't that cute <laughs> oh that's pretty yes okay it's, why don't we all take pictures and send them in We'll vote. <laughs> so my question, Suzanne, do you think I could get $100 for your stocking? Because if the answer is yes, then I need to borrow it. Okay, what are we doing now, Stephanie? Okay, so I just took my little tab. So my little hanging You tab. can use your fast fold to make it. You can use your fast fold to make it. And then I'm just sticking it between right along that back seam. Okay. And I took off my extension table and everything so I can slide my um, the opening of my stocking up around um, my machine so that I can just go zip right around in a circle or around the top, not around in a circle. Is your seam open or, or folded to one side? Folded to one side. All right, so I'm just doing a little back stitch there. 
and I'm going to stitch all the way around. And if you're, you can pin this if you want to. I'm not a pinner. Somebody's tearing down their sewing room. It does sound like that, doesn't it? Maybe they are. Maybe they've had enough. Maybe their camera guy's just a jerk, too. <laughs> The camera guy could be buried in the back 40. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now. Why bury him? I know somebody's got pigs. Oh, see, Dusty says, why go through all that hassle burying him? He knows somebody who's got pigs. And pigs will eat everything. Pigs will eat everything. Including the bones. That's where they get spam from. <laughs> <laughs> So there we go. So now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to reach my hand down in that, that hole and I'm going to pull this all. There we go. Now, before you shove this all back down in there, you can whip stitch this, you can um, put a piece of um, uh, stitch wishery yeah. in there, you can stitch it, you can do it however you want. Steam a seam. Steam a seam. Yeah, orange stuff. Whatever. But you do have to close this hole up or otherwise you'll lose all your goodies. Nobody wants to lose their goodies. So I'm just going to zip mine on the machine real quick just to get it closed. So this technique wouldn't be any of the ones that you just previously said this is different? Yeah, this is, I'm just zipping it closed. Oops. Now, if you want it to be right, really right, Dave, well, no, I'm just curious. You have to. Because you said whip stitch and heat right. seam and a bunch of other things. And well, there's you... multiple ways. Yeah, so I'm just confirming that this is not one of those. Okay, when she's done, I'm going to have to bring the camera over here. Okay. Now I'm just gonna go ahead and turn this right side out and then top stitch around the top. See, this is another reason Dusty needs to be the cameraman. He adds to the conversation. I subtract from the conversation. Don't talk. That would be the solution. But, I, yeah. <laughs> but that's impossible for me. I love hearing the sound of my own voice. Yeah. Well, what are you looking for, Pete? I'm looking for. Oh wait, I'll just do it this way. Never mind. Okay, we're coming to you now, or Stephanie? Done. Okay. Go to me. Okay, so. What am I down in here? She's being very specific. Well, you, okay. My machine has stitched out two lines. Okay, these are the placement lines for your um, applique. So now I'm going to put down two pieces of fabric over those areas to cover them. Get a good spot. Okay, hold on. There is no good spot. One, two. Watch out. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. 
Okay, so I'm covering the two areas, stitching areas completely and breaking my machine. Uh, okay. Use the, hold on. Can I move it? Hold on. Okay, so now it's gonna stitch that same line again, but it's gonna stitch the fabric down. And then we're gonna cut away the extra fabric. Gonna go around twice. And I'm going to cut away the excess fabric and I'm going to have my two applique pieces on. You have to be very careful when you're removing the hoop from the machine so that you, one, don't screw up your fabric and you don't change the position of your embroidery arm or else you're going to be off track and you're going to have to start over again like I did earlier. So here I'm going to cut. Can you, is it getting a good? No. Angle? Okay. Here where your hands are out of the way. Okay. Cut away the fabric. That's why these duck build scissors work really, really well. He's strangling me. <laughs> Listen, breathing's overrated. Yes, okay, so can we get that? We're getting it kind of. It's hard because- I know, I have it at the it, angle. It, yeah, and your hands have to be in the way. Okay, let's see if I can. Yeah, I can't do it this way. That's fine, do, do it the way you're doing. They're okay. getting the idea. The idea is you cut outside this, the stitches you just put in. Right. And then the material fills in. Rather than embroidering, all, the applique is a nice way to fill up a lot of space if you don't want to use a lot of thread and you have a lot of fabric. Because stitches take time. Yes, yeah, stitches take time, time than applique does. So if you're in a hurry. Which we always are, all of us. Yeah. I do like embroidery though too. So that's filling it with fabric. Right. And that's, that's filling, filling it, it with thread. Yeah. And the nice thing about John Deere is he usually offers or not usually, he offers a lot of his um, designs in both embroidery and applique. So you can either embroider the whole thing out or you can um, pick the applique version and go quicker. And sometimes the applique version is just nicer, you know. So there's our next ornament. And I'm gonna put it back in and it's gonna give me the outline for the centerpiece. And I'm gonna go ahead and enter that. You can go. How's your, oh, step is done. Look at that. Isn't that nice? That is pretty. Very, very now, nice. Somebody going to win this one? Oh, okay. Yeah. I was going to say, if somebody's going to win it, you can embroider your, the name. Just one more thing for you to do, Steph. <laughs> no, she's not going to do it. She'll embroider the name. <laughs> Um, we'll send it to the person they can embroider the name on it. <laughs> but it, it does give you an opportunity to look bad when you say, no, I'm not giving it away. I didn't say I wasn't giving it away. I know because you were left with no options. I asked her if she was giving it away. So Dusty's are so much nicer than mine. His are fancy. <laughs> Mine's just string piece. So that's how you do a Christmas stocking. That's it. With your friends. It is. And so on Saturday, we'll probably give this uh, witch's stocking away um, as one of our share comments or share whatever. Prizes. Thank you. Yes, share prizes. 
Okay, so are we We're saying goodbye? We're going to move our buttons, Dusty. You didn't leave me a quarter inch scene. That's what yes, I was on Yeah, Yeah, Dusty put these buttons too close. He put them on himself on the long arm, so I guess we can't complain. So we say so we'll just scooch it over. Anyway, so um, so Wednesday stitch and bitch three to five, and um, we will if everybody wants to bring their stockings with them to stitch and bitch, we'll have show and tell. That'll be fun. Yes, I think so. So um, and G will see you tomorrow at two for a demo on organza on organza. And Stephanie and G and Dusty are going to have lasagna for dinner. And I'm going to have a frozen pot pie. I'm like, you're going to have spam. He doesn't it, like spam. Yeah, I, don't, <laughs> I, I, I had spam as a child also. I don't have fond memories. <laughs> <laughs> Say goodbye, girls. Bye, girls. Bye. Bye. Bye, Bye. 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 Bye everybody. Bye. That was fun. I learned a lot. Thank you. Really enjoyed it. Thank you.